Biology students, members of fraternities, and general volunteers showed up to the prairie seed collection on Friday, November 1st to help preserve the native prairie plants for future generations to enjoy. And really the idea is to create the same uh, prairie habitat that we're collecting from in the next section down in the nature preserve here. Next Friday we're actually going to start seeding. Um, all the seeds that we collect need to have their dormant period, so they need to uh, stratify, go through a winter season, and and essentially go through the normal process and then in spring they'll all start uh, popping up again. Next Friday is going to be really kind of our main end of the season kickoff. Um, so we're going to be collecting as we have been uh, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. right out here at the, the uh, Nature Preserve. We meet at the informational kiosk and we just go out and collect uh, whatever we can collect in a two hour period. The original plan in the 70s was to purchase the prairie land for residence halls. A former professor instead changed the old farmland into a learning community for students to experience the plants firsthand. Most of what you see behind me is a type of grass called Indian grass, and that reproduces really well. It's got a lot of seeds. Uh, the birds don't really hit it too hard, and if they do, uh, there's still enough seed to really propagate it. So when you look at a prairie and you see all the grasses, we want to get it to that point, uh, not necessarily to crowd out the good stuff, like the endangered stuff, but to crowd out all the invasives that would normally not get along very well. This is Jonathan Block from the Prairie Seed Collection. Back to you.